Hey, we're here at Kenton's house again. Well, actually, Kenton's big backyard. <laughs> I'm yeah. envious of this backyard. This is a, I don't know, 20, 30 acre backyard. It's a big backyard. Yeah, Kenton. it is. We're going to trim some limbs that are up too high. Um, some on this fence row here, some out in, in uh, what's left of Kenton's woods. <laughs> So let's get started. Hey. So, set the saw on it. Yeah. Get it down enough that you see yellow sticking out of the bottom of it. Right. And then turn the saw on. Let's try it. Oh, you think I should give it more juice? Give it a little more throttle. Oh yeah, it's running faster. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do we got? Come on. Let her back down in there. Try her again. Uh oh. There we go. There you go. I think. I think you're learning. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there is a bit of a learning curve, I think. Yeah, there'll be a learning curve too. Yeah. Tell That's you what, you go ahead. I'll get the grapple and get that out of your way. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try it way up above. Kind of nice to be able to reach over the fence there and get some of that brush that he's already cut. It would have been hard to get by hand. For those of you relatively new to the channel, you might be asking about this grapple. Well, this particular grapple is made by Artillion, artillion.com. It's unique in that it's modular. You can buy either a clamp, they call a grapple, or a rake, which is just the lower tines. You can mix and match to get the configuration you want. Here we're showing two grapples or clamps and one rake in the middle. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Oh, alright, give just... it a try. Oh, I will in a minute. Oh, you okay. Go ahead. It looks like you're getting on to the operation of it, though. A little bit more, yeah. Shoot, I even got it. Oh, I forgot. I got it down an idle, and it still, <laughs> it still works pretty good. Now I'm going to give it a try. Naturally, my very first limb, I about tear up Kenton's nice tractor. Whoa! It ended up rolling right back around here. Wow, that thing really cuts. And it would, you know, it would be not nearly as handy to try to get that down with a chainsaw. You'd be standing up on a ladder or a bucket of a tractor or something that wouldn't be very safe. That's a big log. I'll get out there and trim that a little bit better if I can. It doesn't take much movement, given that it's so far away from the tractor. It doesn't take much movement to move the saw a long ways. There you got it, Ken. I think you got it by the tail, but you got it. <laughs> Now, if you've watched our earlier episodes, we've been back here before. We helped Kenton water some young trees that he's planted. These brush piles are left over from when they cleared out a bunch of dead ash trees. This used to be a, a heavy forest. Now, earlier you saw me about drop one on the tractor. It's really not that hard to prevent. It's just learning how to deal with it and uh, learning how to position your saw. You can see that you can move it way out in front of the tractor, as long as you're not cutting too high. I keep. Uh putting down too far or something and pinching the saw backwards, but I realize I can push it up against something and get that fixed pretty quickly and easily. Kenton mows all this in the summertime with his 4052R in cab, and he's been having trouble getting under these limbs. 
So that's the main goal here today, to get some of these lower ones cut so he can easily mow under them with his brush cutter. That is nice. That is really nice. Now I regret getting this one so far from the tree here. Look at the sap come out of the thing. I mean, it's just running out. Having a pair of tractors and a pair of drivers working together on this project is really making it go fast. I just want to get that one little limb there and I'm having trouble getting in there. Whoops. Need one of those five or six R's with the windows and the roof. Oh, I think it's bending the... Oh, I thought, I thought the, the bar was bending, but... Uh, right there. There it goes. That's one way. <laughs> if you can't cut it down, rip it down. <laughs> one way or another. That's what, <laughs> if you want to put it to its paces, a couple okay. of maple trees. How about you take a turn? My neck's getting tired. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's now, don't, the... now don't put that on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a cab tractor. Right? Yeah, but, I mean, this isn't much work. This, no. This, this would be this would be dandy. It it might worth mentioning how much it is because people you could really you could really justify that. Limbsaws.com, L-I-M-B-S-A-W-S.com. Ah. Coupon code TTWT. Oh, gets you ten percent off. Oh, ten. Oh, ten percent off. Yeah. Wow. I, I think it's twenty one hundred dollars before discount. $20.99 before discount, so it'd be $18.99. Well, for goodness sake, that's impressive. If you order by midnight tonight, I could probably even leave this one here. Oh! <laughs> Finance committee, come on. <laughs> Great application for this saw. He can't get under these to mow very easily, so he needs to be sawing these limbs. This is about the safest way I can imagine to do it. Uh, didn't quite reach far enough. We've shown this in a video or two from the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. This is my first time actually being able to use one. I could tell on the trade show floor that it would work, and that was reinforced by all the customers that walked by the booth and said they had one and loved it. But I was afraid it might have limited use. I, I was afraid it just might only work in certain situations and might not be flexible enough for general purpose. But it's proving incredibly useful. Now, unfortunately, the 2 Series, the 2038R, doesn't have enough oomph to run the chainsaw. It'll make the saw spin, but as soon as I put it down on the log, it stops. I tried it. I promise you I did. The specs say it requires seven gallon per minute at your third function. This is a huge limb. I think I'll just call it a log. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just never admit you can't do it. And you likely can. I'm going backwards because I feel like if I try to go forward, I'll, I'll twist it all under and I don't know, maybe lose some of it. So I'll just go backwards all the way to the pile. This one was pretty high. I suspect with that 4R he can get up maybe as high as 25 feet. You can attach it about anywhere. I think it's got a 3 inch receiver type tube. And we just bolted two of those receiver tubes together onto a fork. <laughs> that was good, backing out. <laughs> That makes it nice out here too because we hay this and the tractors with the mowing and the hay rake just keeps them from getting tangled up in the trees. And I like to keep it mowed under, it keeps the brush and weeds and stuff down, so yes. that makes it a lot easier for me. 
I want to head to those two maples right there. They actually show it attached to the top of your bucket. You just drill four holes in your bucket and you can put one of those three inch receivers right there on your it's, bucket. It's a mental challenge to me to figure out what angle I want to get in there and then a movement this far in the tractor can make a movement this far on the saw. I, I noticed that. And, and you, yeah, if you start to turn your wheels when you're moving, you got to be kind of careful because it's swinging that thing a great deal. But my goodness, you want to be up there on a saw trying no, to saw that no. off? No, and I don't want to be holding a pole saw doing it all day either. To, I vote for this way. I, I do. <laughs> Double thumbs up. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Got a heavy load this time. The two of us cleaned up a lot of this area in a, well, a really a very short time. And my favorite part, no manual labor at all. I had my chainsaw on the back of Johnny 2 in case I needed to cut one again, but I never did. I was able to move every one of those limbs without doing any manual saw work. Lazy man's load. This is a good example of an uneven load. Those two clamps really allow you to get a good handle on an uneven load like that. about got a grapple full anyway. <laughs> Just gave up and decided to push it. That's a huge limb. It's still sawing. Timber. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. <laughs> that should make good footage there. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Man. I think we're gonna have to adjust the chain. I imagine that new chain needs to be, looks like it's even out of the track right now. Uh-oh. Yeah. I imagine we just need to tighten it. Yep. If we got, You've if got we, enough if we pockets, got tools. don't you? <laughs> we got enough tools to do it. <laughs> All right, Tim, between us, we've got a toolbox in our pockets. Yeah. Uh, now, the question is, we probably need to loosen these a little and then run that one out, right? right anybody, have you got your crescent oh, wrench? Oh, look at that. I don't carry a crescent wrench. Oh, we talked now, about that. Now, now, see, here's a little pocket back here. You got a special little pocket did, did. for the crescent <laughs> wrench. Okay, we'll try it out. Let's see if it works. Oh. Might have even been a little loose, huh? Okay, oh, there oh, we go. Thank you. So now yeah, we need there. to... Oh, there it is. New chain's going to loosen a lot, isn't it, Wiley? Oh, sh hell yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, they used to say, pull it up if you could just barely get it out of the track. Okay, tighten her up then. That sounds like that's about where we are. Notice the chain's all oily? Yes, I noticed that. So, that is really slick. Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, oh, the puns, they just keep on coming. <laughs> so this chain gets its oil from the hydraulic system of the tractor. And so it, it, it borrows just a little bit all the time. So I suspect by the time we get back to the house, you'll be totally out of hydraulic. Oh, oil. yeah. It won't even run back to the hydrostat. <laughs> we'll just have to pull it with the Johnny, too. <laughs> How long a bar is that? I don't know. Pull out your fancy measuring. You do I, have a I, measuring I, tape, of course. <laughs> you, let's see, what else have I got? I am feeling very, uh, <laughs> in, you know, inadequate here. I, I mean. You, you, you did an episode on that. And, right. and, and so you took I've it to heart. And, I've been and trying to figure out ways that I could get more stuff in cranked there. Cranked it up a notch is what you did. Must be a, well, 18. I'd say that's a 20 inch bar. Yeah, it probably is. Well, it was plenty enough to do that. Wow. This project is going really well because you're able to saw them down and I'm able to haul them off. Oh, and that, that basically keep up with. That's you. a wonderful thing because yeah, as you know, when you're doing it by yourself, then I got to switch to the grapple and yeah, back and forth and so yeah, this is. <laughs> and and uh, you guys have heard me talk before. I love two tractor, two people projects. Yeah. Oh, I do too. There it's... is something enjoyable about working together with somebody on a project. Especially when you've got different tools. Right. Right? It's sort of like, okay, well, your tool's good at one thing, my tool's good at another thing, and we work together to get the job done. I, I don't know and why. You're I act and that. you're actually getting more than twice as much done. Yeah. Because you're not changing equipment or implements and attachments. It's just, it's just really a treat. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think we may have some more cutting to do. I don't think we'll get this thing away from him very quick. So. <laughs> As long as there's sun in the sky, we'll be cutting limbs. Oh, yeah. yeah there's, but, there's still plenty to go, isn't there? <laughs> Thank you, Kenton. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor Time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Wait on Christy when you get over there. Up, you went up here and you went to saw it and she was right. Oh! <laughs> We're just, I'm just too excited yeah. to get doing it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> hey, thanks for letting me borrow your little gator. Oh, I I was picking up stuff and I thought I want to leave this out because it'd be so much easier to move around with that. Well, I'll trade you. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. I think not.